Hello everyone, today we are going to deal with a question involving both arithmetic and geometric progression. So in 2003, a man earned $20,000 and spent it all. In the next seven years, his salary increased by $2,000 per annum, but inflation caused his expenditure to rise by 5% of the previous year's expenditure. So find the amount he will save by the end of 2010 giving your answer to four significant figures. Now, if you're not quite sure where to start, it's always good to frame your mind to find out these terms from the question, where n is the number of terms in the progression, a is the first term, and d and r are the common difference and common ratio respectively. So we need to find the value of n, which is the number of years between 2003 to 2010. And this could be done by taking 2010 minus 2003 plus 1. Now, the reason we are adding 1 is because this person is saving till the end of 2010. Now, to get the amount saved, let's break down the question into two parts. The first part being the salary, which follows an arithmetic progression with the first term A as 20,000, the common difference of 2,000 as it increases by that amount each year, and N as we have found previously, is 8. Now the total salary across 8 years will then use this formula, the sum of the first n terms, which is 8 over 2, 2 times 20,000, plus 8 minus 1 times 2,000. Now the second part to this question will be the expenditure. Now the expenditure follows a geometric progression because it rises by a percentage each year. Thus, the first term is 20,000 as he has spent all the salary in the first year and the common ratio is 1.05 because it rises by 5% of the previous year's expenditure and N is 8. Now the total expenditure across 8 years will thus use this formula for a geometric progression and it is equals to 20,000 multiplied by 1 minus r, and r in this case is 1.05 power 8 over 1 minus 1.05. Now the amount saved is simply taking the total salary minus the total expenditure. Now using your graphing calculator, this will give us 25,017.82, don't just stop here as we need to round off to four significant figures. And doing so, we will then have $25,020. So this is the amount that the man saved between 2003 to 2010. Now I do hope you have learned something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them down in the comments box below. And thank you so much for watching.